Motocross Magazine. I've interviewed you the past two years, one spot higher on the podium. <laughs> what, um, you looked like you were fighting the course out there. Tell me a little bit about what happened. Yeah, uh, it's a really hard, challenging course because of the conditions. I mean, the course itself is pretty straightforward. But the freeze-thaw cycle has created some really wild conditions. A combination of deep frozen ruts on one turn and then really slippery, slimy mud on the next turn. Um, and, you know, I went down a couple times, but it was not a factor in the race because uh, so the corners uh, that I went down in are so slow, you don't lose more than a second or two. And that's compared to the huge climb, you know, the Koppen Badger, Koppenberg climb. And, uh, you know, Brandon was putting 10 seconds into me on the climb. And for a few laps, I um, made contact again through the remainder of the course, and we were still together. But every time of the climb, he just hit it again. And, you know, he knows that's his strong suit. He's a great climber. He's a lightweight. He's a great climber. And, uh, and he knew that the power sections maybe suited me a little bit. So he would just drill it on the climb, absolutely throw it down. And um, it's, it's a great race. And... Uh, you know, uh, we just wanted to get a big gap because a lot of stuff could go wrong. Uh, you know, the course tape is completely shredded out there. There's barely a ribbon left standing, and you had to ride over it and through it, and it was blowing into your bike, and uh, trying to not have that ruin your day was uh, one of the strategies that all the riders had to use. I was, uh, the last time I saw you race in, well, other than Nationals last year, was Fort Collins in, in 2010, when uh, it was pretty slick, and you, you found a way to ride that other people just couldn't get anything, and I thought that th that would kind of suit you today. Oh, it definitely suited, suited me. Um, I love the mud. I love anything that makes the course harder. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a mountain biker at heart, I have a lot of experience riding cross, and I feel like I'm really good on anything that's technical. And today, that was that freeze, thaw, ice, slash mud. And, um, you know, I probably wasn't on my A game in terms of ripping the turns today. I was a little bit conservative because it was so slippery that you just had to be careful you didn't go down too much. And uh, uh, certainly, the conditions are to Brandon and my advantage because we've been doing this a long time. We've both been racing almost 20 years, and uh, you know, this race is is great. It's not even uh, difficult compared to many of our nationals. So we knew that going in. We knew we had a huge um, opportunity to go one-two, and I'm just really psyched that we did it. We sealed the deal. And we put an emphatic stamp on this championship. Uh, we've been 1-2 the past two years, I did 2, Brandon's 1-2, um, it's a great position to be in. Yeah, Boulder Cycle Sports sort of owns these 35, 39, 40, 44 age groups. Talk I know. a little bit about that. <laughs> well, uh, we work really hard on it, you know, we, we work really hard at this sport, we love racing. We race uh, the elite category back home all year and uh, uh, fight with the younger guys. And then at Nationals, we're able to do both. The Masters, um, where we really deserve to be at being over 40 years old. But tomorrow we'll do the Elite, too, and I bet you we'll do pretty well uh, if we can work through the traffic. Uh, our starting position won't be too good, but the course is hard enough. Uh, we'll be able to make up any disadvantage there. Awesome.